Hi, I'm Tyler. I'm the Anime Ghost, and this is Man vs. Monster 2, uh, B Edition. So, the rules, uh, for those of you who didn't join me last time, are it's a 1v1 against whatever the monster is. It's the average member of the species. It's a neutral battleground, so both of us should be able to move around in whatever uh, the battleground is. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to add an addendum. I get, like, a sword. A basic long sword. Am I trained in a sword? No. So it probably won't help that much. Uh, the only thing I know how to do is fence. Uh, but I, after like the 2v7, I think I got two wins last time, maybe. The monsters got seven. I think it would be a bit more fair for me to have at least a weapon. Uh, without further ado, let's get right into it with the Banshee. Uh, so the Banshee is like an undead. It's not, it's not a ghost, I think. It's, it's vaguely ghost-like. Uh, so I can't punch a ghost, and I can't hit a ghost with a sword, so it's already not great. Uh, but even if that mattered, it could just scream, and if I get unlucky, I just die. Uh, so that's fun, not even considering the fact that I could, couldn't even really look at it without being scared. So I'm going to go ahead and give that to the Banshee, uh, because not only can I not kill it, it can just look at me sideways and I die. You know, it's only like, what's the CR in this battle? Like, it's only child rating 4. It can just go, ah, and then you die. Uh, yeah. Even like on a success, you take like 3d6 psychic damage. So that's a hell of a he headache. Uh, next up is the Basilisk, which are uh, kind of like lizards with lots of feet. And when they bite you, or no, no, not when they bite. That's a cockatrice. Uh, when they look at you, you start to turn to stone if you fail to save. Now that said, what size are they? They're only medium. So they're about a human, it's like a Komodo dragon, uh, but obviously with a little bit of magic in it. That said, I think I've got kind of an advantage here. Uh, the DC is a 12 for the con save. That's not terrible. Uh, what's the failure? On a failure, okay. The so failure, you're petrified. On a success... You can just do it, and uh, and uh, or you could just like shine a mirror. You could do the old like Perseus trick and be like, "You see yourself, and now you're dead." Um, yeah, it's kind of slow. I can definitely outrun it, uh, and you can just not look at it. So I'm actually going to give this win to me. Uh, surprisingly, I wasn't expecting that either. Now that that said, if it bites me, I'm fucked, right? But I mean, it's it's just a big lizard. You know, I could stab the shit out of it, and uh, you just don't look at it in the eyes. You stab it in the butt. It's slow. And then uh, with, like, eight legs, its turn radius has to be shit. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to give that win to me. Now to another long noodle-like boy. Uh, we're going to the Bahir, which I'm hella dead. Just going to spoil that. Uh, not only is this thing huge, uh, so absolutely massive, it can just wrap around me and eat me. Uh or just lightning breath me from afar, and my sword really isn't going to do jack shit. Um, the best thing I've ever done to one of these in a game is just banish them. <laughs> so uh, that's kind of the context for how badly I would just die. Um, yeah, they're faster than me too. They have like a 50 foot, foot speed and they can climb, so even if I somehow was above it, yeah. I'm just dead. I'm just dead. We're going to move on. To the Beholder. So there's quite a few here, but we're going to start off with the classic Beholder. Once again, just dead. I'm dead to the Charm Ray, because it just goes, okay, you don't want to kill me anymore. I'm dead to the Paralyzing Ray, because it just goes, you don't get to move anymore. Uh, Fear Ray, self-explanatory. Slowing Ray, I move in slow motion, which would be cool, but I would also be dead. Uh, Innervoration Ray. I, I don't know what a nerve... Or, uh, no, I, I mispronounced that. Innervation. I don't innovate, though. Uh, I would just die, is what would happen. Uh, telekinetic, it just picks me up and does the, uh, the half-life, like, ragdoll thing. <laughs> Sleep ray, I get to take a nice nap before I die. Petrification, I, I'm in disintegration. I'm just dead, and finally the death ray. Uh, makes me alive. No. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's a, just a definite win for the Balder. There's no way. And that's not even considering that it could just, like, bite me, and I die. So yeah, <laughs> that said, it's actually kind of slow, but it doesn't matter because any, what's the 
range on the IRA? Yeah, 120 feet. I'm not dodging that. Uh, next up is the Death Tyrant, which is just worse, uh, except for I mean, it doesn't have all of this. Does it have all the same rays? It does have all of the same rays, except for it also just if I die. I'd just be a zombie. So technically, I would be alive. So I'm, no, that's a monster way. No, 100%. Uh, spectators, on the other hand, are like gross, nasty boulders with big old tongues. Uh, so you know he has a girlfriend. That's cool. Uh, uh, they don't have nearly as many rays, but it really doesn't matter because, uh, yeah, it's only 90 feet. I just get hit with, like, uh, a wounding ray and die. Um, even if I could use spells, it would just go, ah, uh, no you, so... Another monster win, unfortunately. Ah, uh, the Death Kiss isn't here, I'm surprised. Uh, next up are the Blights. Now these are definite wins for me. So we're going to start with the Needle Blight. It's just like a thorn bush. alright? I've cut down plenty of those, and if I got a sword, oh, it's going down! It's going down, there's no way I, I lose this thing. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of fast. But also, it has, like, no hit points. So I, I feel like I could just stab it. It doesn't, like, gain HP back yet. The Twig Blight, even less. Even less. It's it's literally like a, a bunch of twigs. I can just I, snap it. Throw it in the fire. Heat myself. Make a nice, nice warm, I don't know. I was about to say bath, but that's not correct. Uh, Vine Blight, maybe a little bit more difficult because they can grapple me. But also, sword versus plant. I can get through some vines. I've never been in a jungle, and I don't really plan to. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm good. I think that's that's three easy dubs for me. Next up is the bugbears. Uh, these are basically just people. Um, that said, I'm still kind of dead. It's like going up against a linebacker uh, who also has a morning star, and I don't have armor. So... <laughs> Even if I did, Morning Stars are pretty effective against that. So I think I'm just gonna die. I think that's what's gonna happen. Uh, they have long reach, so they can they can do the whole like football arm, hold my head away, and then just shank me. Uh, yeah. Same for the Bugbear Chief. It's just it's just a buffer bugbear. It's just a buffer bugbear, and I'm still just dead. <laughs> uh, next up is the Boulette, which are just land sharks. Uh, I, it, they're kind of, they, they have like chitinous armor, uh, they just do the, the Monty Mole, no, they don't do the Monty Mole, you can't jump on them, what the fuck do they do? Oh, Tremors, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I'm just dead. <laughs> they just like dig and whatever and then eat me, or they don't even have to do that, they could just walk over and go, no, <laughs> and I'm kind of dead. That said, they don't really, where's their, oh, they got 40 foot moving speed, yeah, I can't outrun it either, so... Uh, yeah, again, just dead. Just dead to the land shark. Uh, next up are bullywugs, which are funny haha -ha frog people uh, who that do frog things like jump and use their tongue and they can talk to frogs. Uh, that said, I'm totally killing this guy. He's a frog, bro. He, he is medium, but they're like small and they're unpleasant and I would have no qualms about murdering. Uh, and that wraps up this video. Uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, the final scores are up now. How would you do against uh, any of these monsters? Do you think you could beat uh, Boulette in a fight? If so, put it in the comments how exactly you would do it. Uh, that's it. That's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you guys later. Bye.